The first thing we want to do is just grab um, a piece of paper and I'm just going to go ahead and cut into four um, inches and I'm going to do the other side and cut it four inches which I'm making a four by four um, squared. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my bag and put the square and make sure to put it um, below the line where the handles is on and then I'm just going to go ahead and draw a square here. You can make it um, longer if you would like the bag to be longer but I prefer to do it um, smaller like that. So then I'm just going to go ahead and draw it. After you draw it, go ahead and open your bag just like that and grab a hard book. This one you can find at 99 cent store or in different places where you don't want them and because it's going to get cut. Then put your hands inside so it could, you can give pressure so it could be stable. Grab your knife and then you're just going to go ahead and start um, cutting your bag. Make sure that when you start cutting, you don't stop. You just go straight all the way so you can get a straight line and you don't mess it up. Then I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side just like that. Pretty simple to do guys and easy. Then I'm just going to go ahead and do the last part and go ahead, grab your knife and just go ahead and cut it through it. Then once you're done, just take it out and look how cute it turns out. Simple and easy. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab some of these um, a clear paper. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put the square that I used before and make it way bigger than the square that is the size of the square of the back. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it through it just like that. Make sure you don't wrinkle the paper because this is going to be in the front. Then I'm going to grab my bag and put the paper inside. Just going to go ahead and put it inside and just fix it and you see it looks perfect. So to be able to hold it, you're going to need to hold this on tape. And this is like a little bit tricky, not that much, but just a little. So make sure you don't touch the paper and then you put it on top first and then you put it in the one at the bottom to hold it. And then you also have to do the two sides as well. So then once you hold your paper, look how cute that turns out, you guys. Then I went ahead and cut out my letters. Um, you can always buy the stickers and then just put it, or you can always cut it, the Barbie, just all together. And then just going to go ahead and glue it to the bottom part of your bag. And here you can also do the uh, darker colors. Um, if you would like Barbie, like a darker pink, I like that one, so I just used that one. Then after that, I grab a piece of paper and white, and I'm just gonna measure it so it could go inside my bag. So I'm just gonna go ahead and measure it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out. Then once I cut it out, I'm gonna take my double sided tape and use some tape in the back, just like that. Then I'm gonna grab my bag and attach it to the back. Just because I don't like that part of the handle that shows here, you could also do it in pink in the back if you would like. Then I went ahead and grabbed some candy. I'm just gonna go ahead and place it inside. Super cute, you guys. Then I grabbed this Barbie. They have it at 99 cents store. And I'm just going to go ahead and place it inside just like that. And look how cute it turns out. But another thing that you can do instead of just leaving the Barbie like that, just go ahead and grab your Barbie and turn it to the back. And put some um, tape in the back just like that. And then go ahead and attach it to your bag. So then it will be on place and it will not fall apart. And just like that, you have a beautiful Barbie paper bag. Super cute and easy to do, you guys. This came out super cute. I can't wait to show you the whole decoration. Then for the next DIY that I did was just grab these little bottles. They have it in Dollar Tree. And then I just put it with rocks. I grab any Barbie that you have at home. Then I put it inside. I grab this stick, balloon stick. And I'm just going to go ahead and place one on top. Just like that. Then I'm going to grab four of these balloons. And I'm just going to twist it around to attach them together. And then I'm going to take my balloon stick and attach it at the bottom part where I put the other balloons and put a flower in the middle, just like that. And the way I did it to attach it to the Barbie, I just took this little rubber bands for the hair that they have. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put it inside. And then I'm going to put it through the head of the Barbie, just like that. Make sure to take the hair out. And then I'm also going to do it on the waist so we could hold it better in place. So I'm going to do it at the bottom and I'm also going to do it at the top just like that, you guys. And that's how beautiful it turned out. Super cute. Then I took a, a pink um, little cup in the bottom, as you can see, and I just put it inside there so it would look super cute. And it turned out amazing. I hope you guys like it. Let's not forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And tell me what you guys think of this new DIY that I did. And if you have any DIY that you want me to create, please let me know. 
down below. Thanks again for watching Special Creations Family.